Okay, so we already covered discrete distributions, so now we're going to talk about continuous distribution. So once again, this is where we have um, continuous random variables uh, that fall within a certain range. So they might have either really long decimal points, or they might be irrational, or something like that. Um, so an important thing to remember is always when you have a curve, uh, everything under the curve will be have an area of one. So when you shade a curve, you will be shading the amount of probability uh, that you're looking for. So um, if you're if you have the amount shaded, the area, you can use um, like an inverse t function on the calculator um, to try to find the z score from that. Um, so. Uh, an important thing to remember is your z-score in the empirical world for this because uh, everything is within uh, a range. When you have, say, a certain point on a continuous um, thing and you're looking for the probability of that, it'll always be zero. You can't find the probability of just a single point. So, um, some important formulas are um, mu of x equals a plus b divided by 2 which uh, when a and b is just the end point of uh, like your highest point and your lowest point. And then you have your standard deviation squared equals b minus a squared uh, divided by 12. 12 is just the magic number. So uh, remember, since it's standard deviation squared, you will want to square root both sides if you're looking just for the standard deviation, of course. Um,